Hi, this is Pumpkin Creek Primitives. I'm Bobby. This is Floss Tube 87. It is July 10th, 2022. It is crazy hot outside. Um, this is a channel about cross stitch, my website, and probably a fur baby or two. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Um, I tilted my camera down some, but now you can see my box is piling up and my stuff over here. But you can see more fabric. It's hot. My face is red because my husband needed help holding doors. <coughs> I'm gonna choke to death, it's fine. Um, needed me to hold these heavy barn doors that he's building while he connected two of them out in the driveway so they stand up like this. Whatever. So he could spray them and they they hold their own weight. It sucked. <laughs> it's not a happy camper. So like I'm all flushed and red. It's fine. All right, so we had a giveaway last week. We had Christmas Carousel by The Little Stitcher. And we had Santa is in the air by the little stitcher. So let's, the word for this one was horse. So let's see who won that one. Let me go ahead and get my um, notes set up. Cause you know, Christmas carousel. And then skip a line, Santa's in the air. Exactly what you want to do. Listen to me right. It's fine. Okay. I, my iPad's being super weird. It keeps trying to blow this page up and I don't know why. Okay, so there was 23 people that commented horse. And now they're making you like do math on here. I don't understand. Anyway, start the raffle. Oh my gosh, my stuff, it's, oh no, you can't. Okay, I don't know if y'all just heard that. It was my husband cussing about how hot it is. Um, <laughs> Roxanne Green, you won the Christmas carousel. So email me below um, with your address and I will get this sent out to you within a timely manner. Um, all right, so the next one was... Santa. I don't know why it's trying to make us do math. I don't like it. Gotta count. I think it's to keep people from... We got 22 comments on Santa. I don't... This thing is just... Now they have just random ads everywhere. I don't like it. 
getting on my nerves. Anybody want some Triscuits or whatever that was showing? <gasps> Sprinklestein stitches! Girl, we've been missing you. All right. I, I have your address. <laughs> but if you want to email to remind me <laughs> to send it, that, that would be great. Okay. See? I said Sprinklestein and here comes Skeeter. <laughs> but yeah, Amy, I mean, I have your... Oh, he's coming. Sorry, guys. Are you coming? He's thinking about it. He, oh, are you a little scared? Are you a little scared? No, we don't really need you in our business today, though. You know? I put another... Oh, God. Another little kit. I don't remember which one this one is. Oh, it's a hot air balloon. No, I put a little summer one that I wanted to give away. Sorry. Um, I'll put the word towards the end because I'm hateful like that. But, beach please. It's so cute, but I know I'm not going to stitch it. And so with this, if you get, what, if, they look, if there's somebody you want to get into cross stitching, look at that back. It has everything. It has the hoop. It has the pattern. It has a needle. It has everything they need. Or if you want to stitch it yourself. Um, we will. I'll have a comment at some point. I'm going to get these messed up. Which is easy to do. Okay. Let me write off. Okay. We were almost so close. All right. So I got some haul. Did I not? Oh, yeah. I did it with this one. Skeeter, honey. On that grind. So cute. So cute. Um, and like I said, I just love that she gives you everything you need. Um, okay, honey. You're gonna make me edit. I don't wanna edit. Mommy doesn't have time today. I'm in a hurry. I'm in a hurry. I'm in, I'm in a hurry. Oh, you're about to get full on cat butthole. No, we're not. We're not doing this right now. Here, if you want to lay. Here, lay down. Here, you want to lay on that? This is my life right now. If you do not quit. Stop. You don't need these. No. I know. I created a monster. Okay. Ski. Ski. I created a monster. Here. There's a bag. No, you're not getting the jar. Oh! Quit showing your butt. I'm trying to... No, here's yours right here. That's your gauze bag. Oh, watch this. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, it's over there. You better get it. All right. And that was successful. Um, to all the people that put their little fr um, free giveaways from StitchCon in these little bags, um, I hope you have to walk in the rain. I don't want to say anything too mean. <laughs> um, they're, I'm randomly finding them with your stuff still in them, but the bags all over the house where he has got in that. And taking them. This home will scoot up where he can't get me. <laughs> Not bad. Um, I'm sure you've all heard by now that we have um, Autumn Lane Citri is do doing their next Sal. Dark, you know, he was gone for like months. Dark Queen of the Sal. All right, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have to pause this. Okay, as I was saying, oh God, he's gonna get up here again. As I was Bubby, there's nothing up here. <laughs> no, 
not even there anymore. Why are you swatting at it? I moved it. Anyways, Autumn Lane Citry. We did Dark Queen of the Sea. They are now doing Dark Queen of the Earth Sal. And I've already signed up for it. Um, went ahead and ordered the bead pack and the floss and the called for fabric. Well, one of them. I got the green one. <laughs> Woo, you are trying my nerves today. Bubby, I got to be fast at this today. And you are not helping at all. I Sorry. Anyways, I'm going to do this. Um, and I think my plans is going to be next week, possibly the week after. Um, I'm going to get out my Dark Queen and I'm frogging her. But I'm going to go ahead and put, since I can start in the corner now, I'm going to go ahead and put some fresh stitches in her to at least put a hundred. Excuse me. It's biting on my straw. What is wrong with you? I mean, you act like you have never had attention and you have been neglected your whole life. It's <laughs> getting mad at me. Skeeter, do we need to have a talk? Hey, do we need it? Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, come here. Quit chewing on shit. Get what? Did you just chew on that? Ski, either get over here and lay down. Here, mommy will give you scratchies. Oh, and I wish this annoyed him, but it doesn't. <laughs> Any other cat be like, that's enough, mom. Leave me alone. But no, not this guy. He's like, yes, please. Yes, please. And that whole tail puffs up. Yes, please. Oh, just so yeah. Even rub the belly. Oh, get in the armpits. Oh, so much hair. Whoa, but Okay, are you gonna lay down now? You got some love? You gonna lay down now that you got love? I'm sorry, this is like two minutes of me talking to my cat. <sighs> it's life. If you do not stop chewing on stuff you're not supposed to, you're going to get shut out of this room. And mommy has never done that before. Anyways, I'm going to eventually frog because let's all know I messed up so bad. I don't know how to fix it. The f It's like... Can't even figure out all the places I messed up. And so I'm never going to stitch on it again if I don't just start in another spot and then eventually frog the first two parts. That's as far as it gets. It's been in timeout since part two. So yeah. Um, he's slowly going down because I'm scratching his face. Um, no, do not knock that off of there. I'm sorry. And I keep sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I keep saying I'm sorry. Cause I should just stop this and get him out of here, but you're my baby. And he's being cantankerous. Ski. All right. Listen, listen, listen. <coughs> this, you're, this is not a good look for you. You are being mischievous. You're being a bad boy. And you don't need to be a bad boy to get love and attention. Okay? Okay? All right. He's a big boy. Oh. This is how he likes to get scratches. He's sitting in my hand. <laughs> See? <laughs> okay. So, anyways... I, and I plan to start. I probably won't stay up to date or stay along with it or whatever. But, dude, you are heavy. <laughs> um, but, we'll see. I mean, I haven't stayed along with Supernatural either. Which, I haven't even finished the cryptid one. So, from which you said you're... Are we, are we good? It, I mean, I kind of need my hands to do what I'm doing. Because I can't show <laughs> Ski. <laughs> He's just hanging upside down, you know. Nope, you're not getting on the desk. Oh, there you go. 
Did I, did I annoy you enough? Probably not. Okay. Anyways. Um, the next thing I wanted to share that I got was I got a new video game for my PlayStation 5. It's called The Quarry. Don't know if there's any gamers out there, but if anybody played Until Dawn, it's by the same people, same as ha House of Ashes. So it's like a choose your own adventure. So it's almost like watching a movie. There are some things you have to be fast about, but um, hitting buttons and certain buttons and whatever. But for the most part, it's like choose your own adventure. So it like asks you a question you have to pick. Do you want to answer somebody rudely or do you want to be nice about it? You know, whatever. And it totally changes the path of who can die, who lives, all kinds of stuff. And so it, I'm so excited to play this. I don't know when I'll get to play it, but I'm very excited. I think it'll be so much fun. Okay, now on the fat crap. I may have to have, sorry, there's that word again. Um, I can't take Fortnite um, out of their package ahead of time because they now put stickers on the packages. And I'm a, so I, I'll lose the, the anyway, anyways. So I got my fabric of the month by Be Stitch Me. And so the color fabric of the month is my sunshine. I get 18 count Ada. It is beautiful, bright yellow. It is brighter yellow than that. Like more of a, well, that's, eh. I feel like it's a little more towards French's mustard than how this is. Um, it's very, very pretty. Let's see if when I fold it up to a smaller. Yeah, it's kind of blown it out a little bit, but you get the drift. It's very pretty. And of course, I love her fabric. I really need to email her because uh, still no news on my market order. So, um, and then the neutral uh, color of the month is Willow. And this one is very pretty. It's all, well, no, it was showing true. It's kind of a beigey with a slight green situation happening. Okay, I'm filming. What happened? What do you got to do? Oh, you ran out of paint. Okay. The dogs haven't been out in a while. So now I'm gonna be stuck with that. <sighs> you know. Anyways. My face getting more red because I'm getting pissed off. Um, I got my Grace Notes fabric of the month and I get the color and the neutral, I think is what they call theirs. So this one's sparkling grape. And it's a very light purpley gray, but you can't really. And then the other one is Sognato. And it's like a, it's like a, it's still, I mean, it's a purpley pink. Let's see if you can tell it. That helps with the purpley pink part, but this is still purple too. It's just a gray purple. Is so pretty. All right. I'm in love with what little bit I can see of this one. So this is Fortnite. I get 18 count. It's called Frenches. I'm in love. I mean, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know how y'all keep coming up with new colors. I would just run out at some point. I would be like, well, I already have a purple. I'm gonna mix up a purple, so. I just wouldn't be very, I'm not very, stop. I just don't have that level of creativity. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, and here's the other one. It's called Beloved. And it is pretty also. And it is a blue, there you go. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Let's 
finally got rid of Ski. I think all it took was his, his dad coming inside and talking because he's scared of Chad. I don't know. Maybe because Chad just has a big booming voice. And then I've got my um, July Fabric of the Month Club for Color and Cotton. It's Oceana. And it's pretty. It's showing up actually pretty good. Yeah, maybe it's looking a little tealer. Is that a word? Tealer? <laughs> I don't know. I still can't believe he ran out of paint. He went to the store and got it specifically for this job. Anyways, whatever. Those are my problems for later, I guess. Um, and then I got, I ordered from um, Rebel Stitcher, Colleen. And you need to go watch her most recent video. Um, I'll talk more about that when I show one of my new starts. Um, she has a pattern that she just released called Resistance. Um, that's an amazing pattern and she's doing, um, amazing work with it, with donations and stuff. So please, um, go watch, she's Rebel, St Rebel Stitcher, go watch her, um, floss tube so you can get more information about who, who she's donating to with the sale. And then, um, her website's rebelstitcher.com and so you can get needle minders and everything. So I... She had, I saw this at, um, TitchCon in the Annex and I was going to go back and grab it and I just never did. I found did. this on the web. Nope. Didn't even say her name. Although she did look up Rebel Stitcher. Good job. <laughs> um, I saw this in the Annex and I just never made it back for it. So I was glad when I watched Colleen's, um, floss tube and I saw her new pattern and I was like oh yes I'm gonna grab this one now too this is women of honor sampler and it is gorgeous it is so gorgeous so we have people like Ruth Bader Ginsburg on there um Rosa Parks Jane Goodall Billie Jean King um Harriet Tubman um Kamala Harris I'm just literally reading everybody's name almost <laughs> So it's really good. Um, and then there's a quote by Alice Walker. The most common way people give up their power is by thinking they don't have any. And that's powerful. So I was excited to get that. And then while I was on there, I've been looking at this. Um, let me flip it around. I've been looking at this needle minder forever. And I don't know how I didn't haven't bought it from her or even got it in my shop from her. But <laughs> it's Oregon Trail. Uh oh. Oh, you may got a little. It's fine though. Um, a little F is weird. Um, you have died from dysentery. Oh, died of dysentery. Sorry. If anybody played the Oregon Trail when they were a kid, <laughs> dysentery was for real. Get you when you were thought you were so ahead, it'll get you. Um, and then she put in two, <laughs> two stickers, which are perfect. <laughs> One is, who doesn't need a running, what looks like a ghost bunny, or just a bunny with, with uh, chainsaws. I mean, I'm just saying. And then this one says, pro-cats, pro-choice, pro-feminism. Pro <laughs> I love it. Love it. I gotta find a good place to keep my stickers where they don't, you know, get bent and stuff. Um, and then I got back on this month's... Um, Linux stitches, her bag, I love it. It looks like super old sailory tattoos. And then the pattern in here is by my friend Stacy from Stacy Stitches. How cute is that? And then we got all kinds of, of goodies. We got a Rebel Stitcher Dolphin Needle Minder. And then we have a little needle book. And then we got some candy and some, I think those are Arnold Palmer's. And then um, fingernail file, that's what I was trying to say. 
So yeah. But a lot of stuff always back in there. I love this bag. It's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, isn't it cute? And I love her bags because they're they're big. Um, so it really you know helps out when you have, especially if you have projects that have a lot of floss. Um, okay, so I can now scoot all this over there. And now we can show Holly was back. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> um, all right, so now let's show some whips. All right, so, oh crap. My two old ones that I pulled out um, for my hashtag 100 stitches on whips in 2022. Um, I pulled out this one, Country Cottage Needleworks, it's called Silent Night. And it was supposed to be um, <laughs> a gift to my mother last Christmas. So I really need to, to work on it. But I put, I don't know, it was like 202 stitches on it. Okay, so that was a needle minder with a needle on it, which is still attached, and the back of it, which I have no idea where it went. No. Now today it's just not going good. Probably went under the stupid desk. Urgh. I get mad and growl. Does that help anything? Probably not. Well, shit. Can I stick my foot on her desk and see if I feel it? <laughs> oh, I do feel it. Oh my gosh. I am so glad I got monkey toes. I got the little back. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I could put 202 stitches on this. And... Basically, oh crap, got his attention again. I basically filled in all this side of the church. So, it's super cute. I actually enjoy working on it. It's on um, 14 Count Ada, Antique Blue, and it's just one from Hobby Lobby. Um, the reason my idiot self had a problem was because I have it stuck all the way through all the pieces because where I had it, it was too heavy and it was bending down in the bag. And so like, I have a bend. So I was like, that's not gonna work. So, um, but I'm using all called for on that. Like I said, it was supposed to be, I started it November, 2021. Like I really thought I was gonna be able to get that done in time. That's nonsense. Okay. And then my next, um, one that I pulled out. Sorry, this it stuck to the bag, and I ha now I have it in plastic, but it still ruined the pattern. But it's Sleepy Hollow by Glendon Place, and if anybody remembers, I messed up a bunch up in this tree, <laughs> and accidentally back got happy back stitching and back stitched, and the branches continued to the next page. It didn't stop there, so I was like, you know what, I ain't worried about it. Cause I already know I got moon problems when I put the moon in cause some branches ain't right anyways. So I was like, forget about it. So I think I put 280 or something like that stitches on this today. And I just went down with it. So I just carried the brown all the way down and then started on the green. Now, this just shows how well her shading is because, sorry, if you see how dark this is, this is like the edge of every one of these trees. And so, like, you do basically three colors to get that tree to look that amazing. And so, it looks really funny with just the one dark and then with the green in it. Oh, it doesn't want to look like it's true color. It's very purple. And it wants to go blue. It wants to go uh, like gray. 
Um, I started this a long time ago. Um, it was when I was new to stitching, so I was like really good at messing up. Not that I'm still not. I was trying to see if it would really show you the purple, but it kind of seems to want to go blue. But um, I had actually started this 10-4-2020. Yep. So, um, to give reference, I started stitching in September 2019. So I have not, so I've been stitching for one year when I started this big ass project. And here we are in July of 2022. That's fine. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so when I was at StitchCon. And Nancy from um, Bougie Stitchers, she let me borrow this, but I was, you know, I, the plan was to finish it there so she could take her pattern back home. Mm, yeah. So I went ahead and bought it <laughs> when I realized I could buy it. Um, it. That way she could have her pattern. I don't have to bring it home and then we have to worry about me finishing it ever and getting it back to her. So. Count twice, stitch once, um, primitive hair. It was a Nashville release, super cute. I did my own color conversion, except for the, um, except for the black and white, I mean the black, except for black, period. Now, here's the funny thing about this. I gotta do the back stitching. He looks just kind of like a blob with antennas right now, and then I gotta do the needle that goes through him. I jacked him up somewhere in here. I got big problems. So I decided I'm not, <laughs> I'm not putting count twice stitch once underneath him. He's, I think I'm putting whatever. Because, I mean, are you kidding me? <sighs> I don't like, ugh. But anyways, I did my own colors. Um, and then ex except for, like I said, the black, but I'll put the black in. The black's not in yet, and it's a lot of the black is the the back stitch. Oh, wait, well, there's some black in. Sorry, but I'm just like, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> like, how do I do? Well, it's gonna be the same thing as if I mess up on counting as hard, and I think I did on that pattern too. But I mean, he's cute. Um, and it'll be cuter once we get the back stitching in, but, and I think when I was at StitchCon, I got like these five stitches done and that was it. And that's what I showed y'all last, last time. And then I just kind of went ham on it and then got burnt out because I realized my mistake and it pissed me off. That happens to me a lot. Okay. New start. So as I was saying, let me show... Let me show you the picture because I don't have it printed out. Um, I think that's got a cover photo. It's like, yes, but that's not it. All right, here's the cover photo. The Rebel Stitcher Resistance. Okay, so it says, when injustice becomes law, resistance becomes duty. And I love it. And then 1973 was... That was when Roe v. versus Wade happened. And then 2022 is when it was repealed. So, is it called repealed? Overturned? Whatever. All of a sudden, it was like I had, like my brain was like 1973. She told me what that was. She said what it was. <laughs> Duh! Ugh. Anyways. Um, it's an amazing pattern. And so I started this weekend, so I didn't get very far on it. Um, and I'm stitching it, um, cause that's one great thing about, I keep saying, um, I was about to say, um, that's one, <laughs> one great thing about these types of patterns is that you can pick whatever color you want to. And so I chose to pick Night Stalker Calling Colorway Mansplaining cause I feel like it is perfect. Um, it looks a little patriotic when it's stitched up, but that's okay. Um, uh, I'm using 18 count Ada Earl Grey by Grace Notes Fabrics. Um, I started this, yeah, I did this work on this yesterday. 
I have a, um, my needle minder is also Rebel Stitcher. And it says, <laughs> um, it reminds me of, um, Jenny on uh, Force Gump when she sits there and plays, God, please make me a bird. Make me fly far, far away. Please make me a bird. Because it's a little girl praying. and um, But she says, please kill my enemies. <laughs> so. I get such a weighted. There you go. Now. Are any of these colors showing correctly? <laughs> um, the fabric kind of is. It's a little more smokier. But, and the only thing I think I have an issue with is that. Now, in person, it's a little hard to see. Um, it's just the lighter blue. I mean, you can tell there. It's the lighter blue of that W. And I think from far away, you cannot tell that's a W. So, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. just happens to be where it's blending and changing the colors. and happens to be, because everywhere else that it's doing that, it's very easy to see on the pattern. And for whatever reason, in the middle of that W, it is not happy. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I love this pattern. I'll have to figure that out. I mean, it won't be difficult. I just, well, I'll say that, but I don't really have any ideas of what to do. I'm not ripping out those stitches in the middle of there. I mean, when it's in person, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But please go check out her floss tube and she gives you all the information and um she is still donating because she said so um for when you purchase so go up there purchase 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 okay my next new start which was part of my plans is the supernatural Sal Witchy Stitcher. And I'm stitching this on 18 count New Earth. It's the green one. It's what my, um, I happened to buy two pieces or kept two pieces when I ordered this from XJU Design originally from my shop. And then when I went back and ordered more, um, it came in a different color. And now it's like a very khaki color and it's not green at all, which is super sad. But that's as far as I've got on there. Now, I will go all the way across and probably come down only this far before, or before, as this side, because, um, it's a fabulous S too, by the way. I, um, I'm not real sure if I'm stitching the whole border on either piece, so, but I'm just, but I do want to stitch enough for, like, corner guides, and then the same thing at the bottom, like, I would stitch, like, just the corner guides. Um, my dogs are wanting to go outside now because their dad left, and he should have handled it. I'm not complaining. I'm well. I am, but I'm trying not to. Um, so I would love to keep up on this. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> um, so um, my thought process on that is that maybe um I should uh take it to work. I haven't been stitching at work. I've been very bad. I've not been stitching at work at all. Now. That being said, it's because Chad drove me and on days he worked, I didn't get to take a lunch. It was a whole thing. It was just like, whatever. Um, so ever since I had COVID, I've been able to drive. So I don't know if it like rearranged what was happening with sinuses and, and ear tubies. And I don't know what it did, but I've driven myself to work for two weeks now without any symptoms that I was having. Uh, Friday night, I had some my old ear symptoms, which is fine because I know how to manage it. Um, and that was because we had a storms coming in. So, um, yeah, so I need to start stitching. So we have a 
The first one is the Siren. How cute is she? And then the one that was released Friday. He's so cute. Whoop. Definitely don't want to show that. It's the werewolf. He's so cute. <laughs> I love the skull in the moon. Um, oh, looks like we're gonna have a bunch of skulls down this. Ooh, this, oh, yep. Um, yeah, so super excited. I just gotta stay on top of it, right? But I mean, so far, because I mean, that S, y'all. That S is amazing. And when I started this, I was like, you know, it'd be so nice to have something that I didn't mess up. And let me tell you, so the S didn't mess up on. These fancy stuff didn't mess up on. I messed up in this stuff. It was easy to fix and I fixed it. But I'm just like, <laughs> seriously? And I think it's because if something looks real simple, I don't pay enough attention to it. I think, oh, I got this. I got this. And I don't. I ain't got it at all. That was a zipper, dude. Oh, did something get your tail? I'm sorry. Okay. So, that was... That was all the whips. Um, and now my plans... Well, I kind of said plans with the uh, Supernatural. So, um, we've got starting July 23rd, um, which is Gorgeous Grandma Day. We're start starting our um, stitch along. The hashtag is Virgin Fancy Lady Sal. Make sure you put Sal in there because don't know, and as Athena was saying in her video, girl, no, I did not look to see what comes up with hashtag Virgin Fancy Lady. <laughs> no. So make sure you put Sal on the end of that. Um, and yeah, so we got a couple more uh, floss tubers who have jumped on this. Um, Athena just started her first one. Um, I think it was July 1st uh, because Laura from Black Needle Society, that's what they were going to work on on their little, um, oh my gosh, just put more stuff in my eye versus getting stuff out of it. Um, so, sorry. So, she, it's, it's the same month. It's fine. She still started it. Um, and so, Athena, she's Stitching Goddess Designs. And then Janelle from Coffee, Wine, and Stitchy Time. Um she is going to join too. I don't know who, she, I don't know. I know Athena's doing Athena by Mirabilia. I don't know what Janelle's doing. Um, but this all started with a conversation between me and Fawn, Sanctum Stitching, and um, when we were at Keepsakes during StitchCon. And we saw, I saw the patterns, saw the models, thought they were gorgeous, but I'm, you know, hmm. And Fauna's like, oh, this is gorgeous. Like, that is really pretty. She's like, we should stitch it together. And I'm like, yeah, we should. Because <sighs> I've never done a fancy lace. So I'm like, you know, I should. Because I, I loved this one in a model. I'm like, I should. I should. So, as we're talking about it, then we have Zamia comes and she's like, oh, I haven't started one. I've got one I want to start and I'm trying to remember which one she is starting. It is not the same. Me and uh, Fawn are doing the exact same one. We're doing Electra, um, which is Nora Corbett. Um, part of the Bewitching Pixies or whatever, I think. Um, which I've ordered, uh, I mean, I've ordered about six or seven of the patterns, different designs with their bead packs and um, specialty floss that they had it. They have not come in yet. I was really, really hoping they would be in like this week. So it gave people time to buy some if they want to join. But you don't have to join on the 23rd. This will be going on for a while. Um, that's just when we're choosing to start. But you can join at any time. Um, if it's not till October when you start your fancy lady and it's your first one, join us in October. It's I'm sure we'll still be stitching it. I mean, if you start your fancy lady in 2025, <laughs> please join us. <laughs> Because we all know I'll still be working on mine. <laughs> Everybody else will be done but me. Um, which reminds me of uh, on Rebel Sitcher Colleen. She was talking about the one that the Sal were doing together with the, the Halloween royal couple, uh, Madame Chantilly. And she was like, Bobby may be done with hers. I'm not sure. 
girl, you further along than me, which I told her in the comments. I was like, no, she's much further along than I am. Everybody's further along than me in everything I'm stitching with anybody. You know, I like, I like doing the shopping. I like doing the starting. Um, then that's somewhere I falter through. I mean, I like finishing when I get a finish. I enjoy it. It just, man, time. I need more of it. I don't know how that happens. I don't know how you get it. I mean, I know you don't get into bed at eight o'clock to watch TV, which is what I do when I put the doggies up. Um, but it's because I'm just tired. So I don't have a good stitching spot downstairs. Like I've got Lowry stand. I got all kinds of stuff, but I just... Nothing's the way it feels sitting at my desk, which is so weird because it's just a weird setup, but it's like perfect. I get, I'm comfortable in it. Um, and then, so what happens is eight o'clock, I don't want to come back upstairs, which is dumb because why wouldn't I want to, I mean, it's another hour and a half. I mean, I could get another hour and a half stitching in. I don't know. We'll have to think about this. Sorry, that was a lot to put on y'all. <laughs> um, let me show you this fancy lady. And then I want to talk about a little bit, I got to make a note. Okay, um, so this is the one me and Fawn are doing. It's Electra. It's Bewitching Pixies by Nora Corbett. Now, um, so my dog is either moving his kennel or he's scratching inside. I gotta get them handled. Um, so we have these like really, really good beads. And by the way, this bead right here I don't know how many we need, but I'm really thinking about stealing a handful of these. If there's, I'm sure there's plenty, right? Stealing a handful of these and putting them at the top of the candles on Supernatural instead of doing the back stitch for the flame. I think I'm going to put a bead on top of each candlestick. Don't steal my idea. All right, just kidding. You do what you want to. Um, it's not exclusive to me. Copyright. I'm just kidding. Um, so I had showed y'all that Be Stitch Me, I was going to use 18 count Be Stitch Me. Um, acorns. Then I was notified that uh, by Zamia that that counts a little too high for beating. I'm sorry, y'all gonna hear Lucian screaming for beating. That um, I would need to do either 16. If I'm doing Ada, I need to do 14 or 16 counts. So I'm like, well, I ain't doing 14. I'll do 16. Um, so then I had to switch, <laughs> change, but it's okay. I think I found the perfect solution. It is. Um, Oh, and I'm still waiting for these threads to come in um, for one, two, three stitch. I got, it's 16 count Ada by Under the Sea Anubis, which I know I've got, like, I've bought so much Anubis. It's ridiculous because, I mean, why would you not? It is so fabulous. I cannot even. She is going to be fire on this because those oranges are going to pop off this milky, weird, ruddy, brown amazingness. Um, yep. Okay, Bubby, I'm trying to finish up. Quit. <laughs> playing with the... Oh, I cannot... I can't run interference for your butthole right now. That did not sound right. All right, that's good on the floor. Okay, so, I talked about the Virgin Lady Sal. Um, I hope everybody joins. I think it's going to be fun. It's just, you know, something to do together since it's kind of scary. <laughs> At least it is for me. Um, okay, so on the giveaway for that beach, please, um, I want everybody to, if you are interested in getting it, to, um, just tell me if you, um, if you go to the beach, and you gotta use the word beach, um, what beach do you prefer? What coast? What city? This, this cat, I cannot. What beach do you prefer to go to? Um, and use the word beach. I don't know what he's chewing on. What are you, what do we have? What do we have? Oh, we have a ribbon. Okay, yeah, you can play with the ribbon. Um, watching, I'm exclusively watching Legacy because I finished the originals and now I'm watching Legacy. Um, and I think I finished season one. I may have started season two, I'm not sure, but that's like all I'm watching. Um, I have to go handle the puppy because he probably has the pee pee really bad and I feel bad for him. Um, since he was abandoned by his father, <laughs> um, who had more important things to do. Um, there's cute cat. Some little cute cat for your viewing pleasure since he's a turd. 
He's a turd. Yeah, you're a turd. All right, guys. Um, hope you have a wonderful, great week. I hope I stick to the plans that I have made. <laughs> we shall see. Um, but um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. I hope everybody has a wonderful, stitchy week and you get everything done that you want to get done. All right. Say bye, Ski. Hey, you say bye. Look at the camera. Look. <gasps> He's looking at me like, you're an idiot. All right, guys, bye.